Okay, so we're here with Jorge Martel, General Manager of T-Mobile Puerto Rico. Um, basically, we just want to get an update. We, we read um, on the press release that you've already hit the central part of the island. So why don't you give us an update as to what's working up and running already? Yep, so uh, again, we, we have continued you know, bringing in resources uh, to the island. We have a total of uh, 14 planes we brought full of equipment uh, to, to the island as well as experts on disaster that have been added to the uh, to local team, the experts that work in Katrina, that have worked okay. recently in Harvey and, and Nima. Uh, so they are uh, one of the uh, objectives that uh, that we had, uh, that the government, uh, co this goes beyond you know, your normal commercial aspects, it's uh, how we provide communication to the center of the island that has uh -huh. been Losing communication always, it, even physical, because the roads have not, have not been clear, you know, get, getting uh, much needed help, uh, humanitarian help almost to that place, uh, and communication is key. So we're uh, very glad to say that uh, many of the uh, municipalities in the middle of the island, we have uh, been able to reestablish uh, communication. Okay. Uh, when, when we claim a place that, uh, that we have reestablished communication, at least we say it, it has 50% or more than what we had prior to okay, the hurricane. Okay, and communications is defined by what? Voice or At a voice minimum and voice, uh -huh. but in many places voice and data. Okay. But at a minimum voice. Our, voice. our objective, if we can get voice, but many of the times when you reestablish communication, you already bring in the, the data part. Okay. So many of these places have voice and data, so okay. they're able to browse the you know, internet and get information, etc. Okay. So we have uh, the municipalities of Orocovis, Comerio, Ciales, Florida, Morovis, Corozal, Barranquitas, Aibonito, Calle, Sidras, Aguas Buenas, and Naranjito, okay. uh, that we've been able to, uh, to bring communication. We continue expanding those municipalities and more municipalities okay. in the middle of the island. How much work, how much more work do you have to, to do? Ah, uh, tons of more work. I mean, what, you know, in terms of, of the rest of the island getting coverage, what, what's left? Are there pockets or... Oh, uh, yeah, areas? yeah, there, there, there's still pockets and there are many areas which I'm not mentioning because I, we don't believe we have enough communication okay. there. Uh, there. There might be people, hey, I, I can make a call here, I can make an Are you using your towers or are you bringing in cell, cell, you know... We're tools? using everything. Okay, tell me uh, about that. We're, uh, uh, the fiber in Puerto Rico was pretty much destroyed, optical fiber in Puerto Rico. So what we call uh, telco, you know, yeah. that you communicate uh, within hours, a lot of it was destroyed. We've been able to reestablish some. We're using alternative routes. Uh, we're using cows. Uh, mm -hmm. We're using uh, colts. Uh, and then we're, we're using, uh, right now, to expand a lot of uh, microwave communication. Okay. So if, if we get it, if we're able to get you know a particular uh, site up, etc. We're not content with that. Okay, how much can we expand from that area? Are you using satellite? We're using satellite. Okay. Uh, we're using satellite. Uh, many places that it's hard to reach. Mm -hmm. Anyway, then we use satellite to at least provide some type of communication uh, okay. there. Okay. Uh, but right now, I, I would tell you that one of the big things we used to have a big microwave ring in the island. Mm -hmm. uh, we're resurrecting it. And we're bringing more modern equipment also to, to make it a lot more efficient. Okay. And that has allowed us to, to expand a lot more our footprint as we're going out into the island. Now let me, let me ask you, I heard that there were certain sectors that were really asking for specific help in getting back up. For example, banking and I think maybe manufacturing. How, how true is that and, and you know, how are the work? Because I know you're, the companies are all working together in that sense. So. We're working together. Uh, we're mostly wireless, mm -hmm. so yeah, I, I talk a lot of with the banking industry, and we can provide them, you know, sort of consulting advice, some paid consulting advice by okay. me, because we, they, what, what, what they're going through mostly, it's the same thing that we are. The fiber optic in Puerto Rico and fiber optic suppliers were, were hit very hard, mm -hmm. uh, so communication for them has really been been, been altered, uh, and. Uh, there, there. Uh, my advice has been a uh, look at every single supplier out there. Look at microwave. Mm -hmm. Just to you know supply data from one side uh, 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 to the other. Okay. Uh, from a wireless perspective, yes, we are trying to, to get as much network up as you know in Puerto Rico. The uh, peer to peer mm -hmm. or uh, it's commonly known as HMO. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it, it's been widely used. So so uh, we're trying to reach like a lot. So we. <laughs> There are other alternatives to catch mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. the island. In some areas, uh, we, we've been able to, to get it. But uh, yeah, the banking industry, the pharmaceutical industry, and many other business, you know, the loss of fiber optics in the island has, uh, yeah. has really been, been pretty there. tough. Now, do you have any thoughts on the Google Loon project coming in? You know, these 
We're working with all companies. We're working with all companies. We're looking at all alternatives. That particular project is mostly led by the GRTC here, uh -huh. uh, so they, they should have more information about that. But we're looking at everything. Everything. You know, anything that they can give us an edge. We're building a, a lot of what we're doing. We realize the provisional. Mm -hmm. We have to do it. Mm -hmm. We can't wait. You know, for the traditional, like like say fiber or mm -hmm. power, electrical right. power to come up. So we'll, we're looking at all types of alternatives. Uh, uh, satellite, uh, uh, microwaves, every type of creative creativity that we can bring in to communicate people we're looking at it. Are you still having trouble with theft, diesel theft and generator theft? Because Some, yeah. some. Uh, uh, we're bringing a lot of security in our own. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, You've had to hire private, private security? Yes. Uh, well, uh, being fair to local authorities, you know, they're stretched a bit too thin. You know, our, 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 our police here, uh, you know, they, they're dealing everything from being, you know, right. directing traffic uh, to going around and, and an island that's in the dark. Mm -hmm. uh, so so we're sensitive to that. So we're, we're bringing our state. We're coordinating a lot with them. Okay. Uh, we're bringing security. We're hiring local security and, and, and we're bringing additional security from the state. Positive thoughts that I can tell you. Uh, we've had uh, uh, an experience. Uh, we gone and we had a couple of generators and we put a couple of extension plugs in them. Uh -huh. Put a sign that said, uh, "You can use it. Please make sure you know nobody takes it." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the local community, you know, uh, they're plugging in their wireless phone. Okay. They're plugging in, you know, and we said, "Yeah, that we're giving you communication. Uh, we're helping you as much as we can with that sense." And community, you know, we've received positive feedback in that end. We had uh, engineers uh, being invited to dinner. <laughs> Okay, how many stores do you have open? We are making a lot of progress uh, with stores. Let me uh -huh. look at it here with you. We have San Patricio, the Design Plaza de Guaynabo, Rexville, Santa Rosa, Plaza del Sol, uh -huh. two in Plaza Las Americas, Centro del Sur, and Montelledra. So that's nine stores. Okay. We want to open more tomorrow. We're still waiting. By the same age power and uh, mm -hmm. fiber optics, sure. uh, which is pretty much, you know, how uh, Puerto Rico is going right now. Again, here we're, we're opening stores. Some stores have commercial power. Okay. Uh, we're opening stores with generators, and we're looking at all alternatives so we can bring our systems up. All the stores that I am mentioning, we are providing full service. Okay. Uh, we, we have customer service. We're, we're, we have, we're able to activate uh, uh, new lines and, you know, cell phones. Mm -hmm. and, have our customers change phones, so they're full service stores. Now, I, I heard um, somewhere you're giving uh, a one month credit uh, on the build, right? Can we talk about that a little bit? Yeah, well, we did uh, when the uh, hurricane hit Puerto Rico, we immediately uh, said, okay, let's stop all building activity mm -hmm. so we can figure out what's going on. And uh, we're, we're providing our customers with a, a month, or what be a cycle? A, 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 a cycle. month, it, it, it depends, you mm -hmm. know, we're, it's not like a calendar month. Mm -hmm. So a month will be equivalent to a cycle of, okay. uh, of billing. 30 days. Yeah. 30, 30 days, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. And then um, one last thing, I don't know if you've been able to assess the economic impact uh, on the storm on T-Mobile. <laughs> it's big. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that will not deter us. Mm -hmm. uh, and as we've mentioned before, the costs that... Uh, we're incurring right now it's a lot more than starting a network of the company from the ground up okay and I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that as an excuse uh, just to give you an idea the amount of investment mm -hmm. uh, that, that we've gone and, and, and we haven't that stopped I don't have specific numbers for uh, T-Mobile but our uh, back of the envelope analysis for the industry uh, it's approximately one billion dollars Wow. now do you think that after all is said and done you'll have a better network well definitely uh, and, and why, as, as we're going at everything that I'm telling you now, that we're replacing the antennas that are down, the, the cables that are down, you, you normally would go through a cycle of uh, upgrading. And I'm going to mm -hmm. do it in three phases, and by the end of the year, mm -hmm. we have no time for that. Mm -hmm. And we're replacing everything with the latest antennas, with the latest okay. cables. So, so everything is being upgraded okay. <laughs> in a rush. Mm -hmm. uh, You're fast-tracking it. <laughs> by uh, A, B. Out of the 14 planes that have come to Puerto Rico, uh, we're going to stay with everything, okay. except the engineers that have come to help us, how many, and, and how the many, planes, I don't get the blessing. How many engineers have you brought down, or how many people? Uh, we have brought over uh, with, uh, we're employing incremental to what we have between uh, employees and uh, local suppliers, supplier from outside, over 500. And those are jobs? I mean, those are jobs, yeah. Part of them are local? Yes. Part of them are local. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we, we uh, 
even our uh, experts coming from outside, there's a lot of value in having like what we would call commonly the, the guys that go up the towers, mm -hmm. turistas, as uh -huh. we would say in, 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 in locally, uh -huh. uh, having them, you know, having the experience, you know, with the terrain, with the culture, with the specifics of, of Puerto Rico. So yeah, a lot of the even suppliers that we're getting are, are local as well. Okay, because that goes back into the economy, obviously, yeah. and you want to you want to raise that as uh, well. There, there's a lot of investment. I don't want to, you know, uh, underestimate, you know, the impact this is having in Puerto Rico. But yeah, our from a T-Mobile perspective, you know, we, we're having considerable investment okay. into rebuilding our network. And, um, and our, is your network going to still be heavily reliant on power, you know, on electricity? Is that still something that is going to be a factor? Yeah, well, we, we hope that long term we can all depend on back on commercial power. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying, can you maybe install other um, means of, you know, harnessing uh, power, maybe solar or... Short term, uh, we, we realize we can't wait for commercial power to go back up. Right. So we're going to supply our own power, but it... it it's the uh, traditional it's way. It's generator. Okay. It's, it's diesel run. Okay. Uh, we're looking at all alternatives uh, uh, long term. At the moment, uh, we haven't seen uh, something to the scale that we would need okay. from alternative energy, but that does not mean that we're looking at it. And I do believe that in general sense in Puerto Rico, uh, as we say, logo, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, Necessity is the mother of invention. Mm -hmm. So I do believe that that conversation is happening everywhere, and, and there are a lot of folk, there are a lot of creative minds out there thinking, you know, how could we, you know, we not to rely. Even something. if it's part of the network, you know. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Correct. You know, and and yes, we're looking in, in many areas. Okay, how can we be a little bit more self-reliant? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so Maybe that's one of the lessons <laughs> from yeah. this terrible, you know, catastrophe. Correct. How can we be more self-reliant? And again, all the equipment that we have. I certainly hope that nothing like a Category 4 or 5 hurricane happens to us, at least in a generation. Mm -hmm. uh, but we live, you know, in a, in a, in a hurricane-prone uh, area, so all the equipment that we have here will make us, I'm very satisfied with the reaction T-Mobile had in the speed. The second plane coming into Puerto Rico to touch ground in Puerto Rico was a T-Mobile plane. Okay. Uh, considering Army and everything, mm -hmm. the second plane was T-Mobile. Still. All this equipment will allow us, if uh, another hurricane or an, another disaster happens, to be able to to even you know uh, attend it in you know, a mm -hmm, faster mode. Yeah. Now you have a ship coming in tomorrow. Is that supplies? What, what we is we that? have uh, two ships coming in tomorrow. We have uh, more supplies, mm -hmm. you know, and more equipment and uh, areas for all these people, you know, pretty okay. much you know, to, okay. to live in. Oh, oh, really? It's going to be yeah, living yeah. quarters. We have a small army here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, Okay, well listen, thank you so much. I appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. Thank you.